Thanks for watching. Today we're going to paint the Vanquish VS410 Phoenix body. Today we're painting the Phoenix body. I built this truck a couple of weeks ago. I was waiting for some parts to come in. I'm still waiting for a couple of items to arrive. But uh, in the meantime, I can go ahead and paint up the body. I masked everything up, of course, after uh, washing it. So what I always do is uh, I like to take these things into uh, the kitchen or into the shower even, depending on, the, on their size. And uh, I gently scuff up the main part of the body that I want to uh, paint. So do be careful not to scuff up any uh, window areas. If you look at uh, the top of this uh, Phoenix body, it has a really cool roof window as well. So make sure that you steer clear of that one too. I use a Scotch Bright kitchen pad. Uh, I think everybody has one of those laying around. It just etches or etches, it keys the, uh, the inside of the body a tiny bit so uh, your paint etches into it a bit better than it otherwise would. Some people prefer not to do that. And of course it does depend if you're going to perhaps use anodized colors or chromes, stuff like that. In this case, I'm not going to do any of that. So just scuff away uh, for some better adhesion. After that, um, I added a couple of logos. Now I don't use any plotters or cutting machines, stuff like that. What I use is my uh, regular printer. So I size a logo up. And then I use my uh, printer just to print it out in uh, reverse. I then stick this to the outside of the body. So pay attention. Uh, this goes on the outside. And then when you look on the inside afterwards, you can just uh, put some tape, some masking tape on that section and cut it using a lamp. A lot of people have asked me, I know that some people say, like, you know, a lot of people have asked me about this or that. A lot of people have actually asked me about my lamp. And I have, this is the biggest hack job in the world. This is a regular builder's lamp that I'm using. I'll make sure that you see a close-up of it. 
with uh, some fluorescent pipes in it and the nice thing about this thing uh, if you would compare it to for example uh, an LED panel or something that you could buy very cheap from many websites like Amazon or uh, AliExpress the nice thing about this lamp is that it uh, heats up a tiny bit which is of course nice if you want to dry your paint ever so slightly in between coats and it is raised so it's about four inches or ten centimeters off my table which means that if I want to rotate a body and really want to get into it for example sometimes that uh, step down comes in really handy like for example if I want to mask up the hood and I have this uh, uh, roof section and hanging off of the lamp so I hope that makes sense so this allows me to put it flat like this and just uh, go through all of my sections step by step uh, without missing anything um, yeah well I guess that with that we're going to go on to the first color I want to match these Vanquish KMC tank rims so these are uh, these have a golden color I really like the shade of them I think they look really really cool so what I did is I have a scrap piece of Lexan right here that I used to uh, color match it so I sprayed on uh, kind of like a, a spray out like a color swatch a couple of different colors just to see which shade would be closest to what I actually need now how you do this is you just tape it up a couple of different times hit it with a couple of different colors some different orders as well and then make sure that you have a marker so you can mark up your recipe of your colors and you can always keep these as well just so you have kind of like an archive of what's possible paint wise because sometimes uh, certain shades are not readily available like for example this uh, Vanquish Gold and if you want to match it it is possible if you just change the order of your colors Anyway, enough talking, let's uh, go paint. So good we're one day into painting so I actually let this cure for a day uh, so uh, all of these colors are properly hardened uh, before I move on to the next coat so what you see over here is actually four different colors uh, put over each other just so I can match that KMC gold those uh, tank rims also made by Vanquish products if at any stage you wonder where to get any of the stuff that I show in this video go have a look at the video description box because I will make sure that all of the products so including all of the electronics the servos all of that stuff that you can find that in the video description box and I'll link you directly to a place where you can purchase it alternatively you can also of course watch my previous video that I did on this uh, Vanquish Phoenix so far this is a really fun build. Uh, in order to match these colors I actually needed to put four colors over each other so this is my color swatch that I mentioned previously so I used a translucent orange, a translucent yellow, uh, a lame flake and a Tamiya gold layered all of those up and let that cure for a day before uh, speeding ahead. If you get ahead of yourself if you start to turn impatient uh, at this point you will mess it up so make sure that it's all properly dry before you start peeling your next step which is exactly what I'm going to do right now Around the corner 
last steps before the flat clear. Um, as always I'm going to do a bead around the windows that way I do not have to use any of these uh, window stickers. They do seem to be good quality but I must think uh, less stickers is uh, better so uh, so far there's absolutely nothing on here. I will use this uh, white sticker that you see over here with the Vanquish logo on it on that uh, trunk piece over here um, and apart from that some of those interior stickers as well I will use. But uh, in buttoning up this whole paint scheme. I do want to add some flat clear around that purple and teal and light blue section as well because what I want to make over there is uh, like a ghosted Vanquish logo in uh, flat clear. So that's the final stage before calling this body done and uh, letting it cure so I can mount all of the accessories and also start paint work on that uh, interior panel. Not sure if it shows that well but uh, well that's the last thing to do right now. So the thing on the lamp, um, steady hand, <laughs> sharp blade and then just cut away. So everything that is peeled is going to be flat clear. Um, so you're going to get the exact opposite of what you currently actually are seeing. Now I still need to peel this. These geometrical shapes, I think these are really interesting and uh, they make for something different. These Phoenix bodies, of course, everybody has painted them already, so it is kind of hard to come up with something that is original. But I do think that this is something that uh, has not been done before, at least not like this. the funnest part of any paint job. Just make sure that everything is fully cured and uh, that you have not skipped any steps. So double check your work before you start your unmasking and then just have fun and take your time. Now right here you can start seeing some of those little details that I added. So for example in this roof window I wanted to indicate two hinges and then uh, a lock and that's not something that you would find on a sticker sheet so just by painting it in you it doesn't take a lot just a little indication and you then have a hint that it actually opens so I'm going to back over here so I made like a little uh, sliding window so let's see how that uh, has come out and these paint jobs you can make them as fun as you want so you can also make them as uh, complicated as you want. So if you want to add all of this detail I have a flat cleared bead around the window Then I have some chrome trim and then uh, what looks like a, a glue bead and in this case also an opening section two little locks. Uh, it's just a lot of fun to play around with the, a ruler and with a blade and just see what you can come up with. you'll see that uh, when you peel it suddenly it comes to life and suddenly it looks well, sort of real. It's still fun after all these years. In the front as well I got a little uh, sun visor and I have an indicator of a rear view mirror or where you would glue that on. Um, yeah stuff like that just makes it a bit more interesting to look at. It doesn't take a lot it's just 
bend your line a tiny bit, bend it downwards, make sure that it's centered, and you have an extra little detail that uh, just captures the attention. accessories, uh, paint up the interior panel as well. So if you want to perhaps see me paint up the interior panel, let me know. I'm really happy with how this uh, outside, uh, how this exterior show, how this turned out. Matches those uh, KMC tank rims nicely, uh, has a little sparkle going on as well in that uh, golden color. Has a few perhaps more daring colors going on in these uh, geometrical shapes. If you have a close look at those, you will see that there's uh, like a Vanquish logo ghosted into those with some uh, flat clear. Just gives you something else to look at as well uh, once this thing is out on the trails. I did not go for any shot lines just because in this case I think that that would be uh, overkill. So you always need to judge uh, a project, see what you want to do and then uh, determine from there if you want to go like completely all out or if you just want to uh, perhaps skip a couple of steps as well just to make the stuff that you do paint on there uh, appear a tiny bit more boldly. I hope this was a helpful video. If you have any questions about something in the specific perhaps or you want me to highlight something in particular in an upcoming video uh, let me know. Perhaps you want to know more about uh, how I do the windows. Perhaps you want to know more about how I uh, make my own colors. I don't know. Uh, just uh, hit me up in the comment section. I always read your comments. Try to reply to each and every one of them. We are super close to 100,000 subscribers. So subscribing to the channel means a lot. I would really like to crack that number this year. Uh, all of the support is very much appreciated. Subscribing is free, will always stay free. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and I hope I will see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye. Back on.